AR Foundation is an awesome Unity package that allows you to create augmented reality apps with AR Core for Android, AR Kit for iOS, and pretty much every other major augmented reality platform that there is. Today, I'll show you how to get started on your journey creating amazing augmented reality apps. I'm using Unity 2020.2, but using a future version should be fine. Inside Unity, let's make sure our build settings are set to the device we want. I'm using Android, so I'll select that. Next, I'll click on Switch Platform. We should now go to the Package Manager and open the Unity Registry. Next, install AR Foundation from the registry list. Also, install AR Core and or AR Kit depending on your platform. Let's go to Project Settings and open XR Plugin Management. Navigate to Mobile Settings to set the development kit for AR Core for Android. If you're using iOS, as far as I know, you don't have to do this step. If you chose Universal Render Pipeline when starting your project, there's one thing you have to do. Go to Graphics and open your Scriptable Render Pipeline settings with a double click. Then you double click your renderer data. Click the plus sign to add renderer features. Choose the AR one. Great, now we can close all of that and finally get to our scene. Right click the hierarchy and create a new AR session. The AR session class controls the augmented reality configuration options while our app is open. Next, let's add an AR session origin. The session origin is used to convert session space to Unity's world space. Basically, it's like the 000 of the current scene. Inside the session origin, you'll see that Unity has also given us an AR camera, which will represent your phone device. This position of your phone will be relative to the AR session origin. So we're going to want to find planes in our scene. First, you want to add the AR plane manager. The plane manager creates game objects for each detected plane in the environment. Let's create an AR default plane by right clicking the hierarchy and going to XR again. Now, just add that plane to the plane prefab slot in the AR plane manager. This is going to allow us to visualize planes that are detected by our phone. Like I did in the intro app, we want to place some objects in the scene. So we'll need an AR raycast manager on our AR session origin as well, so we can detect the planes we are clicking. Create a new game object called AR cursor. For the cursor, I quickly created an image in Photoshop you can download from the link in the description or you can create your own. Change the image texture type to 2D. You should make this a child of AR cursor. Then set the rotation on the X axis to 90 so it can lay flat. Also scale it down to 0.25 on the X, Y, and Z. Create a new script called AR cursor on the parent. Create a game object for the cursor child object. Create a game object for the object you want to place. Create another member variable for the Raycast manager. In the Unity editor, let's fill in those member variable slots. AR cursor child object. Let's create a random capsule and set it to 0.25F for our object to place. Make the capsule a prefab and drag it to the object to play slot. Let's drag the Raycast Manager as well. Back to the script. Let's create a member variable called useCursor. This will be used to turn on and off the cursor being visualized. In the start, let's set the cursor child object to active depending on if the useCursor is true or false. In the update, let's call update cursor if use cursor is true. Create the method update cursor as a void. We need to get a screen position to set our cursor to, and we can do that with viewport to screen point using the middle point of the screen. 0 0.5 is the halfway between the max size of one. Now we're going to raycast to detect the planes that our cursor is touching. Create a list for AR raycast hit 
Then call Raycast using Raycast Manager. Pass in the screen position, hits, and trackable type dot plane to indicate we only want to detect planes. If the hit count is greater than zero, let's set the transform position to hits zero dot pose dot position, and let's set the rotation to hits zero dot pose dot rotation. We should test it out. When we run our Android app, we can see planes being generated and our cursor is hovering above those planes using our Raycast detection. Let's place our object. First check to see if the screen was touched with the input system. Also, we need to make sure this is the beginning of a touch and not the user simply holding down a touch. Again, let's check if we are using a cursor. If the cursor is true, then we're done. Just instantiate the object at the current position and rotation of our cursor. Else, if we have our cursor off and want to place the object where we touch, let's do another raycast at the touch position. If the hit count is greater than zero, instantiate the object at the hit position. Remember to turn off use cursor, and now you can place the object wherever you want. If the video helped you, remember to leave a like. And if you have some other AR tutorial ideas that I should do, leave a comment below and I'll consider making a video for that. Thanks a lot.